Are you out of fresh ideas for your DIY projects? Find a number of creative proposals and practical hacks in this video. Make a convenient holder for brushes and pencils using the elastics. Put them on the glass. Move them to the center to avoid slipping off. Three elastics will be enough. Put on the next three crisscross. We've used six elastics to get a simple school supply holder. You can be sure your painting and drawing tools won't scatter around. Do you think your old photo frame is too boring? Let's renew it and make a jewelry holder. Unfold the clips and take off the back. Remove the glass, we won't need it anymore. Put the elastics on the back. You can choose any color to paint the frame. Use the sponge and acrylic paint. Put on the back. Fasten with the clips. You can use the paper of any color or pattern for the background. Now your earrings and chains will be kept safe. If you need more space to place your jewelry, you can make the frame holder in another way. Take a frame without the back. Put on lots of multicolored elastics. Cross them changing directions. Tangle them a slant. There will be enough space to hang all your earrings. Let's test the new holder. Perfect! Make a suitable holder and forget looking for the right pencil each time you need it. Put two elastics on a paper cup, one at the bottom and another on top. Fasten the pencils with the bands. Now you can see them all at once. Choose the right one and draw. And use the cup as the school supply holder. Make an abstract butterfly using a sponge. Take a cellulose sponge. Wrap a rubber band around the middle to get a bow. Paint it in two colors. Stamp it on the paper. Complete drawing a butterfly with a marker. You can leave it as it is or make a butterfly pattern. Okay. Another craft hack is about hearts. Are you ready? Let's make a cute volumetric paper heart to embellish gift wrapping, scrapbooks, cards, and other paper crafts. We've cut out a heart half template. You can make a few ones of various sizes. We'll need red paper. You can use thick fabric or foam rubber sheets as well. Place the template on the paper and score the outline with an empty ballpoint pen. Turn over the half. Place it to the next central line to get a whole heart. Trace the second half. Cut it out. Make a small cut in the center. Fold the cut parts to get a V shape. It looks like a collar on the back. Join the folded parts to make the heart volumetric. Attach with the white glue. These cute hearts will add a touch of romance to any paper craft. To avoid making a mess on your desk when you're busy with your arts, make a pretty paint tube holder. Don't throw away a paint package box. It's just the right size. Cut off the top and flaps. Take patterned paper. You can use a store-bought variant or a DIY one. Decorate the box top. Try it on to see how it fits. Cut it out about an inch higher than the edge. Try it on to see if it fits better. Apply the glue to the side. Attach the paper. Crease the corner. Continue decorating. 
Attach the missing part. Cut out the corners. Attach the flaps inside. Decorate the bottom with the twine. Glue the end. Use clear school glue. Attach the twine to the bottom edge. Add the glue as far as needed. Place the twine in even layers. Done! Forget the tubes scattered all around your desk. This lovely holder will keep your acrylic paints in order. It can also be a convenient organizer for your school supplies, little paper notes, or other small stuff. You can use this method of decorating with the twine in other crafts. Today, we'll show you how to craft quick and easy handmade butterflies using ordinary yarn. Put a protective cover on your working surface. Fold an A4 plastic wallet in half. Draw a butterfly half outline. Mark the sketch side of the wallet to keep the butterfly craft clean of the marker spots. Turn the wallet over and trace the other half. Unfold, take a small bowl half full of white glue and cotton knitting yarn. Make about 10 wraps around your fingers. Cut it off. Soak the yarn in the glue. Take out one thread and place it at random on the wallet inside the outline. Place all the yarns one by one. There should be enough threads to keep shape, but not too much to have a tender, airy look. Keep in mind the outline. Let the glue dry. It'll take about six hours. Carefully remove the wallet from the butterfly. Pull off the dry glue. Make a body using beads, wire, and decorative flower stamens. Cut off a small piece of wire. Thread a bead. Attach it on the end. It will be the head. Add an antenna from the stamens. Twist the wire. Add several more beads from the other end. Attach the last bead with a twist. You can use threads instead of wire. Secure the end. Cut off the excess. Make several more butterflies using yarns of different colors. Fold the butterfly in half. Add some glue to the front crease. Attach the body and press over. Add a drop of glue to the antenna so it sticks upright. Attach the rainbow colored butterfly to a peg. You can use it as a curtain decoration. The white butterfly will look good as a refrigerator magnet. Add a bit of glue to the back and attach a magnet. You can use the pink butterfly as a decoration for an interior flower installation or as a garden design element. The gorgeous decorative butterflies from Yarn and Beads are ready. They will become festive interior design elements and bring your home a splash of summer and rainbow colors. In today's tutorial, we will show you how to make a gift box using cardstock. Take A4 size cardboard to make a gift box. Mark 1.2 inches from the edge on all sides. Connect the marks using a ruler and a pencil. Measure 1.2 inches twice on the lines you've got. Be careful to make the marks an equal distance from the edge, otherwise you may fail to make the box. Connect the marks. You've got two lines. Measure four inches from your last mark on both sides. Connect the marks. You've got the base of the box. Measure 1.2 inches twice again. Connect the marks on both sides. This is the temple of a gift box. Put a wooden board under your craft to protect your working surface. Cut off the excess cardboard. 
Make cuts across the lines, 2.4 inches lengthwise and 1.2 inches widthwise. You're using thick cardstock, so to make the box fold easily, take an empty ballpoint pen to score the lines. Be careful not to overdo. We want to avoid tearing the cardboard. Now, the box can be folded easily. Attach inner flaps with white glue. Fold in this way. Secure glued sides with clothespins and go on. While the glue is drying, make a hinged lid for the gift box. Measure width equal to the box base or a bit wider. Make the same mark on the opposite side. Connect the marks. Cut off the excess cardboard. Measure a base width and mark from both sides. Connect the marks. Measure 1.2 inches from the line. This will be a wall of the box. Score the lines. Fold the sheet. The glue is dry. Remove the clothespins. Try and see how the lid fits. Turn the box over. Mark the box borders with a pencil. Cut off the excess. It's time to decorate the gift box. Take scrapbooking paper. Choose the elements of a particular color. We need a ribbon to close the box. Place it on the unfolded lid leaving loose ends from both sides. Add multi-purpose glue on the ribbon. Turn it over and glue. Attach a piece of pattern paper onto the lid using white glue. Keep the ribbon under the paper. Connect the gift box with the hinged lid. Add the finishing touch. The DIY Mink Gift Box from Cardstock is ready. Leave your comments and share your decorating ideas. You can see lots of interesting scrapbooking tutorials if you subscribe to our channel.